of my favorite treats to bring is lemon poppy seed cake, which is what I'm making now. And I make it in this bun pan. Okay, that's the pan. Now the batter. So I started with two sticks of butter, it's a half a pound, and two cups of granulated sugar. Butter has to be room temperature so it really gets light and fluffy. And I've missed it for about two or three minutes and it's just about done. So next is eggs. I've got four room temperature eggs and I do it one egg at a time. One teaspoon of good vanilla. And a third of a cup of lemon zest. It's a lot, but it is lemon poppy seed cake after all. Okay, now I'm ready for the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients, and I'll show you how I combine them. I started on the wet mix a couple of hours ago. I poured a cup of buttermilk into a liquid measuring cup, added a third of a cup of poppy seeds, and stirred them together. I set the mixture aside for two hours to allow the poppy seeds to soften. Then when the time was up, I added a quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice and mixed it in. For the dry mix, I measured out two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and put it into a sieve set over a bowl. Then added a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and sifted them all together. So at this point, I'm going to turn down the mixer to its lowest stir. And starting with the dry ingredients, I'm just gonna slowly add them in, in thirds. First the dry ingredients, then the wet ingredients. And just let it mix in until it's just done. Don't wanna overmix once the flour's in. And then I always turn it off and actually use the spatula to just fold it in and make sure it's really well mixed. Okay, that's perfectly mixed. So now into the bun pan. This cake's great, because you can make it, you can keep in the refrigerator. I always serve it at room temperature, but it'll hold in the refrigerator for about a week, or you can freeze it, freeze it really well. And just take your spatula and smooth the top, make sure it's even. Okay, into the oven, 350 degrees for 45 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. Okay, how good does that look? Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. If you turn out a hot cake, sometimes it can break and you don't wanna do it. No point in going through all that trouble. So in the meantime, I'm gonna make a lemon drizzle to pour over the cake. I've got half a cup of fresh lemon juice and a half a cup of sugar, granulated sugar. I'm just gonna cook it just enough so that the sugar dissolves. Okay, this is done. I'm just gonna turn it off. So the cake is cooled for about 10 minutes. You can actually see it just pulls away from the pan a little bit. So normally you just dump it out like that, but I always worry about it breaking. Don't want a broken cake. So I'm gonna take the rack and just turn it over like that. And if you're lucky, and if you grease the pan properly, it'll come out. And there it is. That looks great. So now I'm gonna take the drizzle to pour over the cake. And you don't wanna dump it on it. You just wanna sort of slowly run it around so that it absorbs it, just like that. And I did it over a baking pan so that it didn't run all over the kitchen. It just runs into the pan. Because too much is never enough, I'm gonna make a glaze to put on the cake. So I need a cup of confectioner sugar and a few tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Maybe about one and a half, but I'm gonna do it slowly. I'm looking for something that's like a very thick but pourable glaze. Let it just run down the sides, just like that. Lemon mousse is one of my favorite desserts. Unfortunately, it's one of Frank's too. So I'm gonna make Frank and Steven. And now I'm gonna make the base of the lemon mousse. So the first thing I need is three whole eggs. And then I'm gonna separate three eggs. I'm gonna put the yolks in the base and whip the egg whites to make it nice and light and fluffy. Okay, next I need a cup of sugar. Lots of lemon zest, two teaspoons. Half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm just gonna whisk it all together. A little salt. And I'm gonna put this over a double boiler and just cook it until it thickens. So the first thing I need is half of the egg whites. Two tablespoons of sugar, just to sweeten it a little bit. Pinch of salt. 
and just whip those on high. I'm gonna get the cream and I'm gonna get the base for my lemon mousse. Just done. So I'm just gonna take this plastic wrap off the base. So you make a really thick custard and then you lighten it by folding in egg whites and whipped cream. And that's how you make a mousse. And this is the thing about folding, is you just wanna put it on top and then fold it in slowly. You wanna do nothing that will deflate the egg whites. Put the spatula down in the middle and then just fold it over really carefully. You can really smell the lemon zest in this. So now I'm gonna whip some cream, make it even lighter. Hard to imagine cream is light. <laughs> Okay, one cup of cream, and you can just do it in the same bowl. So I've whipped the cream. I'm just gonna pour it on top and fold it in. This is so many layers of things, but the good news is you can make it in advance and let it sit in the refrigerator for a long time. Just wanna fold it in really carefully, just like the egg whites. Make sure you don't deflate them. Okay, and then I'm gonna give it an extra special flavor. I'm gonna put in half a cup of lemon curd. Gives it a real lemon bite. It's about half a jar. And then fold that in. Again, carefully, but not too much. But this is really good. Mm, so good, so lemony. You can really test the zest and the lemon curd, and yet it's really still very light. So you can really do a lemon mousse just like this, but I'm gonna make it extra special and decorate it with cream and lemon slices. I know I have a reputation for starting every recipe with a pound of butter, but this one's actually a lemon cake that's made with yogurt and vegetable oil, so it's, it's even good for you, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna start with the dry ingredients, one and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Just sift those together. Okay, I need one cup of yogurt. I use whole milk yogurt. I think it is. Gives a good flavor. Okay, one cup of sugar. You can make it without butter, but not without sugar. Okay, three extra large eggs. I always break them into another bowl just in case you get a bad egg. I always use room temperature eggs when I'm baking. Really makes the cakes lighter. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. teaspoons of lemon zest. That's actually about the zest of one lemon. Just right into the bowl. This is what gives it all its flavor. I actually think the zest has more flavor than the juice, so whenever I make something with lemon, I always put the zest in. <laughs> smells good already. And then later I'm gonna use the juice and make a syrup, a lemon syrup for it. That's about two teaspoons. Okay, I'm just gonna whisk it all together. The idea for this recipe actually came from a recipe I saw that my friend Dory Greenspan wrote for yogurt cake, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to see if I can adapt my lemon cake into a lemon yogurt cake? It worked beautifully. Okay, I'm just gonna take the dry ingredients, whisk them in. I'm just gonna toss them with my hand, make sure they're well mixed, and just slowly whisk them in. You want to whisk them just enough until it's stirred, but not overmix it. I love that you can make this without a mixer. Okay, next thing I need is a half a cup of vegetable oil. It's a flavorless oil. Just stir it in. So it's always so interesting to have two people come for lunch that I've never met before. I wonder what Doug and Paige Campbell are gonna be like. 
Okay, into the pan. I've greased and floured a loaf pan. Just pour this right in. That was pretty easy cake, wasn't it? Perfect. Into the oven, 350 degrees for about 50 minutes, and then I'm gonna drizzle it with a lemon glaze. Honey, are you ready? It's time to go to Ida's. Lemon yogurt cake is out of the oven, and while it cools, I'm going to make a lemon syrup to pour over it, make it even better. So I need a third of a cup of lemon juice. Oh, need a little more. It's about one and a half lemons. I'm just going to heat it up with a third of a cup of sugar. I'm just going to let that come to a boil until it becomes just very clear. Take a few minutes. I'm going to see if I can get my cake out of the pan. So this cake has lemon zest in it. There's lemon juice on it. And if that's not enough, I'm going to make a blueberry sauce for it. Came out perfectly. We're just going to cook this until it becomes clear, until the sugar dissolves. You know these guys spent a lot of money for this lunch. I hope it's good enough for them. OK, this is perfect. Sugar's dissolved. And I'm just going to spoon it right over the cake. And then what it does is it just soaks right into the cake, keeps it really moist, and has lots of great lemon flavor. I have to admit, I'll take lemon over chocolate any day. So this is good just the way it is, but with a fresh blueberry sauce, it's going to be even better. So I'm going to show you how to make this. If you can make this lemon cake, you can make any cake. I've got room temperature butter, half a pound, and two cups of sugar that I've been mixing in the mixer until it's really light and fluffy. Then I'm going to add four room temperature eggs. I'm going to add the eggs one at a time and just let them get incorporated into the butter and sugar. OK. The next thing I'm going to put in is a third of a cup of grated lemon zest. And that goes in. Mm, wonderful. OK. Then I have to put together my dry ingredients and wet ingredients. First, the wet ingredients. I have a quarter of a cup of fresh lemon juice that I've squeezed. Buttermilk, which is great. It's a low-fat um, milk that's got a culture in it. So a quarter of a cup of lemon juice plus 3 quarters of a cup of buttermilk. And the next thing's vanilla. I love the smell of vanilla. I figure out how to put it into almost every big product. So a teaspoon of vanilla. Now the dry ingredients. So that's three cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Salt's surprisingly important in baking things. Really brings out the lemon in the lemon cake. And I'm just going to sift these together. Sifting really combines it, but it also makes sure that there's nothing in the bottom. So I want to put them in alternately, starting and ending with the dry ingredients just until it's mixed, and then add the wet ingredients. This keeps the batter from getting too thick or too runny, and it keeps it really light. <clears throat> Great thing about this recipe is it's, in fact, better the next day. So if you're having a party, it's really great to make it in advance. And then the last flour. So that's it. I've got the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, and I'm just going to give it a, one more mix with a spatula and make sure it's really well mixed. 
Mm, you can smell all the fresh lemon. Wonderful. Just one more mix with a spatula. Okay. Right over here. I've got two baking pans that I've greased and floured and have a little piece of parchment paper on the bottom. So there's no point in making a delicious cake if you can't get it out of the pan. Divide this up evenly. That looks about even, right? Looks good. So they're going to bake 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And after they come out, I have a simple syrup made of lemon juice and sugar. And I'm going to drizzle it on the top, and it soaks in, and it just has such a fresh lemon flavor, and it keeps it incredibly moist. And now back to my lemon cakes. And now I'm going to make a lemon syrup that's just going to soak into the cake. Half a cup of lemon juice. And I need half a cup of sugar. This syrup is going to make this cake so moist, and also it keeps it for a long time, so it'll stay moist for days. In fact, I think it's moister after it sits for a day or two. So it allows you to make the cake a day or two before the party, which is great. I'm just going to cook this long enough so that the sugar dissolves, and it becomes a really a simple syrup. And this will take about two minutes. So while that's happening, I'm going to take the cakes out of the pan. So these are cool enough so that it starts to pull away from the pan. I'm going to just run my knife around the edge. And remember, there's parchment paper on the bottom. So if I'm lucky, they should come out perfectly well. And they did. Perfect. I'll peel the parchment off. I'm just going to leave it. I like to leave it upside down on the pan because it soaks in better there. And then we'll turn it right side up later. Perfect. Peel the parchment off, just put it down on the pan. Great. Let's see how the syrup's doing. One of the things I believe is that you don't need a million different recipes. If you have 10 good recipes that you're really comfortable with and three variations, you really have a huge repertoire. This lemon cake is one of those things. So what I'm doing now is spooning the syrup right over the cake, and it's just going to soak in, and it's going to have all that flavor of the fresh lemon juice, sort of the acidity of the juice and the sweetness of the sugar, and it's going to be really delicious. So what I'm going to do is let the syrup soak into these cakes, and then I'm going to make my pasta, pesto, and pea salad for my picnic. Remember, they're all infused with that lemon syrup, so it's going to be wonderful. Now we want to make a fresh lemon glaze for the top. So the first thing is confectioner sugar. I'm just going to dump about two cups in the bowl and more fresh lemon juice. I'm just going to squeeze it in here so I don't get seeds in the glaze. I just love the flavor of the fresh lemon juice in this. It makes it tart and sweet with the sugar. OK, that should do it. I'm just going to pour enough in so that it makes it runny, but not so much that it's too thin. It's really a matter of the balance between the lemon juice and sugar. And you'll see what I mean. I'll just keep adding a little bit of lemon juice at a time until it gets thin but still runny. OK, I'm getting there. I'm going to pour this on. And as it sits for a little while, it gets a little harder. And it's just so delicious on the top. OK, that's about right. OK, watch this. This is the good part. Just want to just make it so that it drizzles over the edge. Oh, doesn't it look great? So I'm just going to leave that to set a little bit. For my picnic by the pond, I'm making all kinds of portable food, including lemon bars for dessert. So I'm going to start with two sticks of butter, half a cup of sugar. Why do all my recipes start with two sticks of butter? It's for a party, though. <laughs> I'm just going to cream those together. And then with the mixer on low, add two cups of flour.
and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Great. This is really a shortbread dough. It's so much easier to make. It doesn't require a rolling pin. I'm just going to pat it right into the pan. Okay. Put it right into a 9 by 12 pan. Don't even have to grease the pan because there's butter in the dough. I'm just going to flour my hands and press this out. I'm going to chill it for about 15 minutes and then later on I'm going to make a wonderful lemon curd filling and pour it on top of the baked dough and then cut them out in squares for my party. Okay, just chill for 15 minutes. So I've chilled the dough for my lemon bars, and now I'm going to bake them 350 for about 15 minutes. I've got the crust all baked and cooled, and now I'm making the filling. So I've got six eggs, three cups of sugar. I'm just going to whisk it all together. These are really lemony lemon bars. I've got lots of lemon juice and lots of zest in them, and great flavor. Okay. Next thing is two tablespoons of grated lemon zest, which I've already got right there. Cup of fresh lemon juice. Mm, you can already smell the sharpness of the citrusy lemon. Mm. And the last thing is one cup of flour. Just put the flour in slowly so it doesn't get lumpy. And when this is done, I'm going to pour it onto the crust, put it in the oven, 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes until it sets. And when they're cool, I'm going to cut them in big squares and dust them with confectioner sugar. It's going to be so good with my picnic at the pond. Okay. Just pour it right in. lemon bars. So I'm just going to dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar. These are so lemony. I can't wait for dessert. And just, I've cut 12 of them in this pan. It's always the first one that's hard to get out. Got it. Okay, I'm going to wrap it in parchment paper. to meet my friends. <laughs>